Good afternoon guys, it's Wednesday the 5th of June 2019 and this is the second day of Eid for a lot of people around the world it's the first Eid first Eid day based on how you're doing your Eid the Kids had school today, kids have just come home Alina is going to have a bubble bath um, I'm just enjoying this weather really It's a great day, just nice and calm Just feel that, can you see it? It's a beautiful day very calm, no, no wind whatsoever. Great day for badminton, I think. Might play some later on, depending on if it rains at all or not. Got a Mickey here. Let's get Mickey to say a bit of an Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak, Mickey. Say Eid Mubarak. Meow. I take that as a no. You see all this area here? I'm gonna clear this out because it's got old stones in there. I'm gonna push it to one side. It's gonna tidy all of that up. After it's been sealed, we've not really done much to it. I think now that Ramadan is over, I'm gonna get onto it. I wanna clear all this up and make it look neater. And when I build the badminton court, I think I'm gonna make it come all the way up to here. So it gives us enough distance from here to there and just mark it up. In fact, I think I might just do it today. Yeah, I think I might do it today. Do you like my slippers? This is what I'm wearing right now. Pearls on it. Grab what you can and wear it. That's what I say. Do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed. Boo-boo. Hi, Boo-boo. How are you? How was school? Huh? Can't hear you. Are you a good girl? Louder. I can't hear you. Can't hear you. What did you do in school today? You did some drawing? Of what? What are you going to do to them with that? What damage would you do to them? What's that? They'll just be like, oh, that feels like a massage. No! Eiffel Tower. Was it Eiffel Tower? So you're learning about what? Huh? You got something on your top? No, near your neck. Hey, darling. Look there. Where? There. There. There, see, you got really tall, good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so your book. Maybe your bubble bath is being done right now, okay? No, it's not dirty. I just went to check it. Okay. I just don't like. Oh, you're eating a pizza bread? Yeah, but I don't like it. So. You don't like cheese? Yeah, so I'm not. Eating. But you like what's it though, don't you? That's got cheese in it. Yeah, but it's a different thing. No, it's not. It's the same it's thing. No, but they fry it. Huh? They fry it. For well, what's it? Yeah, they fry this too. They bake yeah. it. They bake But I have to have... Should I put super glue on it and stick it together? No, no actually, then you wouldn't be able to eat it. Don't use super glue. Okay, I'll see you shortly. You put this one in the other, then that you, you, have to, you have to let me not eat the cheese. Girl, you want me go cheese? She's negotiating. Good. Good. Negotiation on point. Uh, no, you're not throwing it in the bin, baby. You need to eat that. I'll give it to someone. Baby! Look. Your bubble bath is ready. Let's see the temperature. It's nice. Mm, it's not nice in Oh, Ibrahim's blinds came from blinds to go today to fit in his room. I need to fit that at some point. Right? Uh, Ibrahim, are you going to help me fit this in? Yeah, but before you do that, please don't do it right now because I'm trying to like finish off my robot. What robot? The robot. What robot? Um, the robot, the dog robot that I'm walking me. Eat Are you doing it now? Yeah. Now, now. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get a glass of milk. Yes, I'll be finished. I'll be finished within an hour now. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do it after that. No, then after. Oh yeah, sure. Sit down, please. Eat. After you do the blinds, after um. Sit down and eat because otherwise food will get after everywhere. After you do the blinds, I'll probably do the either ending tomorrow. But if you, if you fit in quickly, I'll just do the ending today oh. after the blinds. Okay, alright, be quick. So okay, fall down. I'm playing football with the apples because A, the year 5 ball was well rubbish. Yeah. It was half eaten and half wool, okay? So that's yeah. all right. Half eat what? It. Eaten? Yeah, foxes eat it. They leave it. No, I think because people were fasting, they must have eaten it after no. Maghrib. That's why it's half eaten ball. Mm -hmm. Foxes eat it. Though. Fox eat the football? Yeah, some of them. How? Was it made out of sponge or something? Yeah. 
So I must have ripped it off or something. You wouldn't rip um, Mr. Burns for it. A delivery came for YC yesterday from uh, Fab Fit Fun. I haven't seen what's inside it. Um, let's open it. And have a look what's inside. Oh, somebody help me. How'd you open it? All right. You'll have to watch it on her camera if you want to see this. It looks like someone had fatouche. What is that fatouche? Fatouche is a Lebanese dish. Is it foot? Fatouche, yeah. It's really nice. Is it a foot? Huh? It's a foot. No, fatouche. <laughs> Can you say fatouche? Can't say it with the accent. Fatouche. Fatouche. No, you're saying it with an English accent. <laughs> say it with an Arabic accent. Fatouche. Not fatouche. <laughs> fatouche. Con? Fatouche. Fatouche. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Careful. We had some sushi today as well for lunch. You had sushi yeah. for lunch? Yeah, we did. That's weird. Why is that weird? Why can't you have sushi for lunch? Oh, uh, what's this? <laughs> what's this? Huh? Uh, Cheeky little monkey. My message I can have this instead. Well, you have milk chocolate? Yeah. I thought I just had the cat eat. We Cat was eating, she's gone outside. She's play she's playing some sort of game up there, look. She's spying on the neighbours. <laughs> I spy with my little eye. Something begin with B. Bad food. So I managed to push all of this to one side and did the marking for the badminton. Because I don't have 13 meters, so what I've done is I've done 12 and a half meters. A 6.25 midpoint and then 5.4 meters across because that's what singles badminton court is kept a little bit of gap on that side and on that side just so that people have enough shooting space and I think it looks pretty neat if you look at it from a distance look at that job well done Osama well done yep I think once I get rid of those posts at the back, I can move it further down. No, now I'm all right. Thank you. Mickey, you want to play as well? A good gap between here and the thing as well. Yeah, they do. Inside the snail, the shell of the snail is a slug, right? Yeah. Right. Let's get our badminton game on. Because I guess the snail is shell. with the shell, I think. I could be wrong. Let's Google it later. Come on then. Sun is right in my eyes. Look what Hubsy did. He sprayed the markings today. Why? It's okay, baby. No, I don't mind the sun being in my eyes. Honey, the sun will go in your eyes. I don't really care. This challenge. Oh, all right. Well, we could just put some sunglasses on. Huh? That would make sense. All right, cool. I used to watch. I haven't watched tennis in years. Sorry. In a month or so. I want to do. They normally do a badminton, badminton there. Um, do you know what? I don't know where they do. I've never watched um, badminton matches. I used to watch tennis ones. I know. Let's try doing it. What? The Chinese way? Yeah. Really fast? Like electricity. Okay. This is very Indian, baby. It's very <laughs> slow and arriving late. <laughs> I'm finally proud to have you as a brother in law. You better be. What's the score? We're winning. We're winning. Yeah. Ibrahim, move out of the way, baby. You're distracting. <laughs> Call that camera, mate. Too fast. Don't, don't run, don't run, be careful baby. Ibrahim, stop it. Ibrahim. 
Why do you guys scream every time you miss? <laughs> Ibrahim, don't do that, please. You keep coming in the way. Someone, you're going to get hurt, baby. Ibrahim, get up, please. You'll get your turn. You'll get your turn. Let them play. Baby, let them play, and then you can play afterwards. With my Lini Bu learning how to play. A gorgeous baby. I can't believe it. Two years ago, he's like, I can't hit it. I can't do anything. Now he's like agile, running around. And we've got Mickey joining us. No. Mickey. Oh, there's some evidence of a bird being attacked here. Because I can see feathers. Has this cat went and got a bird from somewhere? Mickey, have you got a bird from somewhere? What's all these feathers here? Dead bird. Huh? We took the dead bird. I think so too. Where do you say the ball's gone? Behind there? Oh, Come in there first. Huh? The I have to first. get the ball. I have to go in and get a ball. What? Oh, the spider webs here. Yeah. Does Dumbledore play badminton? No, but at least the lion could it. This could it. I have to get the ball from these bushes. <laughs> Come on, Lindsay, you ready? All right. Feet firmly on the ground. And then, like, you don't wait a year or two years or whatever to fix it. You just got on it and just tried something else. Yeah, just trying yeah. different strategies. Yeah. yeah. I really like that. Good evening, good evening. It is 10 p.m. It feels very strange that we haven't just broken our fast and Hubsy has gone to get some boy time. Is you with Amo? Yes. Any Hubsy's with my brother-in-law. So, me and Mei Mei are gonna watch The Handmaid's Tale. New series out today, baby. Well-timed, well-timed. Before I do, whilst I'm waiting for Mei Mei, Right? Oh, yes, please. Did I hear a mug? <laughs> I'm such an addict. I heard a mug what being cupcakes? placed. I'm like, tea? Hey? Cupcakes now? Cupcakes, yeah, with the tea, maybe. Should we just have one? Just Got some Eid cupcakes. I thought I would do another little instalment of our May the Thoughts Be With You book. Listen, pat on my own back for keeping up with these. I'm, I'm impressed with our commitment to this. It's not just me, it's you guys too. So, today's page is this one. Let me know your thoughts on this. Thank you to those of you who have been contributing. That's today's page. Loving the illustrations as well. So, at the bottom of this mountain it says, the end goal will feel meaningless if you've forgotten to enjoy the journey on the way. And then there's a person climbing the mountain. And they're saying, never mind stopping to look at the view. I've got to get to the top. Okay, so the person is clearly obsessed with the end goal only. And they've forgotten to enjoy the journey on the way. So to me, this depicts our current day modern crisis which is a lack of being present. I was just looking at the word never mind and thought that was a bit of a pun. I feel like mindfulness is something that we have to commit ourselves to consciously and that nowadays we look for instant gratification, especially with social media and if you have a look at how new technology has shaped us it's really interesting like i'm now of the generation that didn't have internet and now there's internet like widely well we did have internet but it was like super slow dial up took forever do you remember the ntl days <laughs> the joy of that connection and the little msn man um 
so all this new technology has come out and and same like for those of you who are you know in your 20s or in your teens your late teens or early teens who might be watching you guys are going to go through the same thing as well you in 10 15 20 years time will be reflecting on the changes that have happened and the transitions that have been made by your cohort as a whole or in society we're so led by technological advancements that it really does shape the way that we think and it affects our mental capabilities of how we connect with the world around us so sometimes we get caught up so much with for instance give you an example might not even be instagram culture it might be like the whatsapp culture and like whatsapp groups when whatsapp first came out and like the group function came out so many people were in groups and you'd get all these millions of messages and i eventually realized that it was just too much of a commitment and i you have to know yourself to an extent right so in order to prosper spiritually you have to know yourself and so for me i knew that i was the type of person that if i could see that in a group of people that i know there were loads of messages i would just feel the need to immediately reply like i couldn't put things off and so for me, I realized that the best thing to do was to just limit myself to only be in very select groups. I think I'm in like two groups or three groups and they're not groups like where there's constant messaging because I personally wouldn't be able to handle that. Uh, you know, other people might be able to. I'm not saying it's a bad thing per se. It does really depend on you as a person, your perspective and how you function like mentally how you take things in and how you cope with things through the day self-regulation so self-regulation a balance homeostasis oh my dad's ringing me assalamu alaikum take care dad alhamdulillah how can i say achadika mm-hmm <laughs> you do want me to photoshop okay i will i'll try definitely yeah okay send it to me have you sent it to me on whatsapp okay i'll try take care he's so cute he sent me a picture of naz and he said can you join it on the laptop he wants me to photoshop her into the family picture naz who's who's not here right now she lives in saudi now with her hubby and her new baby um he wants me to because in the past i've done that i photoshopped her into like the big family group picture anywho so what was i saying so man. cute he's so cute did you guys see my instagram picture of how he like directed a photo shoot in their back garden like literally was like i want my flowers in in the background because we were like way ahead of the flowers you can barely see them so like, i want the flowers then he was like why don't you go in there and obviously was like dad dad it's not really he was trying to say it's not instagram appropriate and he was just like just do it and i just in the end the pictures turned out so cute i was like i can't not share them anywho um right back to this sometimes we're so fixated on the end goal that we forget to appreciate the things around us and i think we by being mindful of what we expose our minds to <laughs> i think that it makes things a lot easier so i know that when i consciously started to consider and this was actually initially the stimulus for this was when my iphone started to send me weekly reports of how many hours i'd spent on various platforms and it was like some crazy amount. It was like nine hours one week. And I was like, firstly, that was impossible. It must have been because I had an app running in the background. Or maybe I was on it for nine hours and I'm just in denial. I don't know. But it felt so good when it kept saying, it's dropped by this much percentage. It's dropped by this much. Now, it's never going to be zero because a big part of my job and being an entrepreneur, you use your phone a lot. And so just lowering that felt really great. And it allowed me to mentally switch off when I knew I had to switch off and to just take in your surroundings. Like how many times have you guys sat on your phone and literally lost track of time? Or like you're about to go to bed, you're like, let me put the alarm on and then like it's 3 a.m. and you're like, oh my God, <laughs> I was on my phone just to put my alarm on. Um, and then, you know, you take steps to, to deal with that, hopefully, so that you don't keep getting caught in that same trap. But I do find that 
technology can encourage us to have that type of moving through life where you are just fixated on the end goal and you forget to appreciate what's around you on the way. Like it's those little moments, honestly, it's the little moments in life, the everyday, ordinary moments, I believe, that have the greatest potential to give you the greatest amount of joy. And it's not fancy with lots of amazing transitions and sound effects and and entertaining even necessarily. But that's the stuff that, you know, when you look back, that's the stuff that would have shaped you tremendously. And it's the stuff that you that's gonna be so meaningful to you in the future. So this is this is a great reminder for me as well. So it's really about that journey and not necessarily the end goal. And remember that journey is often filled with ups and a lot of downs. And so one way to look at those downs is to remember that they are part and parcel of, of the story, of your story, of the story of your life. So yeah, I think it's, this is a really great one. I, I've enjoyed talking about this one. Anything to add, Maymay? Apart yeah. from these lovely, oh my god, these are so nice. Lentil. On point. This is a new. It's a new flavor. I know. On point. I shall leave you with this. And bid you good night. Oh my gosh! I just checked, and the handmaids isn't out yet. This is my reaction. <laughs>